Welcome to my solar shed. The question I always get is, can this shed support these panels, the weight? And with 80 amps pumping into my batteries right now, I have no doubts. But let me show you some of the things I did while I was building it that can help support the weight so that you understand where the weight is going. This was going to be a little bit more detailed than our normal video. We're going to go into exactly how I mounted the panels and what brackets I used, what I used in the shed to support the panels. And you'll see some of the flaws that I have and some of the concerns I have about the future and some of the things I did to hopefully prevent some of that. Is it going to be perfect? I don't know. Um, it's hard to say. I live in Florida and we've had, you know, you have hurricanes and pretty much one of these sheds gets hit by a hurricane and I'm not sure there's anything that you can do to stop it. So let's dig in and get on to talking about the side panels here, um, how I've got them mounted. Okay. All right, let's talk about how these panels are mounted. So as you can see, I have three on each side, two on the back side. And what I've done here is I've taken the two by six that holds the shed and I've attached vertically a, a, a ledge across the bottom of the uh, two by six and screwed this into it to give it a, a really nice firm location for these panels to sit. And since they're sitting vertically, this supports all of the weight and none of the weight actually sits on the shed. Now, they do have a slight tilt back towards the edge of the shed. As you can see, it's a little closer at the top than at the bottom. That is by design so that the sun, as it comes in for the evening, will start to hit up here as soon as possible. Because what's going to happen is that as it goes over solar noon, the sun's going to start moving up this panel to hit the top, and you're not going to get full effect until it gets there. Um, this usually takes about, as it stands right now, about an hour after solar noon. And this set over here, as you can see now, the sun has gone off of this side as we've passed solar noon. So on both sides, this is exactly what I've done here. It's taken a 2x6, a 2x4, and placed these solar panels here on them vertically lining up. The brackets I used were standard T brackets. Um, I like these aluminum ones. I do have down here at the very end some of the original black, probably get a better view from this, so there we go. Some of these original black brackets that I used up on top of the RV roof with the black panels I have up there. But the idea is, is the weight is supported on the ground and that runs up to the top where I mounted this up as high, on the, is the highest hole as I could. And that is really literally two or three inches from the top to give it the maximum um, hold there. And then these screws go through and are supported on the back or will be supported on the back with a backing board of some kind that allows you to push out that pressure to the entire wall as opposed to just the spot where the screw goes through this, this aluminum framing. As you can see in the inside of this, there are screws all the way down that support it there that go to a nice of aluminum frame that is up in there. But this allows these panels weight to be supported by the actual foundation itself. In the back, I did not put in a two by four as I knew the back would have all day long full sunlight as it didn't really need the extra angle that is provided as you can see there on this side over here the extra angle to get that sun these in the back are the same thing except they sit on the frame at the bottom so that there's absolutely um, total weight support here no problem there and at the top it has two brackets so i got away with only using half of the brackets these are aluminum brackets that screw in and are attached on the back. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'll walk around 
to the inside and show you the back of these panels of how they're attached. As an example, this is the backing board that I'm using to spread out some of that pressure coming from those panel mounts. But this is basically the theory. The idea is to use some kind of backing board that these screw into to distribute that weight to a larger area in here and allow you to provide support from this main frame at the top where you have those screws going across multiple across the top. What I may even do is make these boards a little bit bigger where they go all the way up here to the top so that I have the full backing of the wall as opposed to just where the threads of these screws go through. And just want to start off by showing you on those roof panels, you'll see here, in this right in this view right here is very well uh, shown. You see the screws coming down right here. These are the roof panels that are screwed directly into the frame, the aluminum frame of the shed. And so if I come down a little bit further, I'll see there's another one here holding this panel. And then I come down even a little bit further and we'll see another set of screws here holding this one. It's, you can see it a little bit clearer from the outside, but I wanted to show you on the inside where it's supported. The top section of this will, and I have not attached them yet, but the top section will be in this area here along this ridge. And what I'm planning to do here is to do the same thing I did with the, with the wall, uh, put a support piece of uh, wood to distribute some of that weight and make sure that I catch capture this internal ridge uh, line here where all the massive support is. But because my panels are mounted here at the bottom and here at the top, I'm going to try to get them to these frames to give it some additional support. Now, you can see here when I hold this camera way up that I have two panels on this side. And then if I come around the back side of the shed, I have two panels over here. Now, the original configuration, as we talked about, was two in series. I've since changed it to where these four are in series. Let's talk a little bit about the mounting of these. These are mounted very similar to the side panels in that these screws go straight into that frame as I showed you just a moment ago. So I do it there, and then there's a second one here where it goes into that mounting frame, and then that's repeated on that panel there and the two panels on the other side and it allows the rain to run down behind them it allows the rain that hits them to run off the top but it does not provide a lot of extra weight as except up here at the top where that is focused on that area where that that support is i may even attach a, an additional support to the center of these top panels to distribute that weight a little bit better on the inside. But since I'm gonna hit that main frame, I'm not sure how important that's going to be. All right, so you can see that the solar panel attachment here is pretty sound support down here. The roof is in pretty good shape as I've used the support of the shed and the shed is designed to support an additional 480 pounds with the panels weighing about 43 to 47 pounds a piece. Um, it looks like I'm in pretty good shape up there considering I moved those, I moved the weight onto those supports. The top attachments are really the only thing that I have any question about. And I would like to see if maybe I can add a third or maybe a third and a fourth support across the top of that. Put a long running uh, beam across the top, maybe something that attaches from side to side to give it a little bit more um, ability to withstand the high gusty winds. Um, like I said, it is quite common to be, you know, 30, 35 mile an hour gust around here and 20 mile an hour winds day to day um, coming in off of the river. Um, I see that almost nonstop. So it's the, the low winds like that and the low level hurricanes of the, the category um, the category ones i'm not too particularly worried about when it starts getting into the threes and the fours i'm not sure that this shed under any circumstances would do that i want to say thank you to all the new subscribers you've been fantastic the feedback is awesome i really appreciate it please take the time now if you've got a question or some concern write it down below i'd love to hear from you i love the feedback it, it really makes uh doing these videos fun when you get to communicate back and forth and i look forward to 
Um, all the other videos, especially the Solar Shed series, is wonderful. I have another series going on, the DIY uh, solar uh, setups and configuring a system and sizing your batteries and that kind of stuff. So both of those are really fun projects and I'm enjoying myself. So I hope you feel the same. I appreciate you. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. And as that said, the next video in the series, if you're walking through the series, is right here, or the previous one to this, and it walks you through them, is right here. Just click on it, it'll take you right onto the next one. And if you want to see a list of all of the videos in a particular series, just go to my homepage. All of the uh, list, all of the videos are linked in, in uh, categories so that you can get to them all. And below in the description is a link to those lists also. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you all.